Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, December 13th, 2019 edition. Make sure to watch till the end where for your convenience, I do a recap of all the dramas with premiere dates. In this edition, I will talk about where to watch Chinese dramas with English subs. But first, Ming Dynasty is an upcoming costume drama starring Tang Wei and Zhu Yawen and they have announced a December 17th premiere. The drama has also been called Empress of the Ming. Set in the 1400s, it chronicles the life of Sun Rowei as she rises from concubine to empress after her family is massacred. Tang Wei burst onto the silver screen in 2007 in Ang Lee's Last Caution with Tony Leung. She was consequently banned in China because censorship deemed the movie too controversial. Funny how they didn't ban Tony though. Just a bit of double standard there. Anyway, instead of sulking and giving up, she went to London to learn English and teach badminton, and three years later made a spectacular comeback and has been headlining movies ever since. Good on her. Ming Dynasty will be her first foray into Chinese dramas. Zhu Yawen recently starred in the modern drama Chinese Partner. He has a long resume of drama and movie roles, so it's safe to say that Ming Dynasty is headlined by a couple of solid actors. EXO's Lei has a supporting role in the drama as well, so that will draw a different type of crowd to the drama. Lei was recently in The Golden Eyes, and this will be his first costume drama. Ming Dynasty will premiere on Hunan TV. I will update later when it becomes available online. Yanshi Palace Princess Adventures is an upcoming costume drama starring Rain Wang and Wang Yuwei and they announced a December 31st premiere. The drama is a spin-off of the hugely successful story of Yanshi Palace. It follows a determined Qing Dynasty princess as she deals with a vendetta against her family and the inner palace machinations that come with it. Rain Wang played Princess Cao Hua in the story of Yanshi Palace. The new spin-off will focus on her life. Wang Yuwei had a guest role in the original as Prince Thor and sees his role elaborated in this. According to producer Yu Zheng, Netflix purchased the international rights to Princess Adventures and will start streaming on December 31st. Fans in China will have to wait a bit longer as negotiations with Chinese broadcasters are ongoing, but I'm sure the eager fans will use a VPN or find some other way to watch it. Reportedly, Nie Yuan and Wu Jingyan will make guest appearances, reprising their roles as Qianlong and Ying Luo respectively. Our Shiny Days is an upcoming modern youth drama starring Zhou Yiran and Hao Fushen, and they have announced a December 16th premiere. The drama tells the story of a group of high school students who try to revive traditional Chinese orchestra, but meet resistance in the form of the school's arrogant classical orchestra students. It is a drama adaptation of the 2017 movie of the same name, starring Xu Lu and Peng Yuchang. The stars of the drama are relative newcomers. This will be both Zhou Yiran and Hao Fushen's first drama slayer. Our Shiny Days is slated to premiere on Aichi. And now it's time for the main dish of this episode, as I answer a question from one of you, a fan who supports my channel on my crowdfunding page Patreon. Today's question comes from Maria Gaga, who asks, can you please tell me some sites that are streaming Chinese dramas and movies with English sub? I have found Aichi and WeTV, but they don't have that many dramas. Thank you. Thank you for your question and compliments, Maria Gaga. Before I answer your question, let me just talk about the streaming sites that I use. The first and most obvious one is YouTube. The great thing about YouTube is that there are several official channels that upload Chinese dramas with English subs, and they're free to watch. Yoyo Television Series Exclusive has dramas like The Eternal Love, Fighter of the Destiny, and is currently streaming Joy of Life, which I am following right now. MZTV has Story of Yanxi Palace, The Ode to Joy series, and Rui's Royal Love in the Palace, among others. Croton Mega Hit has 10 Miles of Peach Blossoms and Love O2O, two of the most popular Chinese dramas on YouTube. The problem with YouTube is that although it's a great source for Chinese dramas, they can be hit or miss when it comes to English subs. Sometimes they come out quickly and are great, sometimes they take forever and aren't the best. For the people who don't need subs, it's not a problem, but I can totally understand the frustration of those who want to watch a drama but can't because there are no subs. Unfortunately, there isn't much you can do about it other than to leave a comment or to email them to request subs, but who knows if they'll even read it. It's all up to the channel. They can choose to do the subs themselves, hire someone, or let volunteers do it. Or they can choose not to do them at all if they don't feel it's necessary. The next streaming site I want to talk about is WeTV. 
WeTV is like an English sub subsidiary of Tencent, the Chinese streaming site. WeTV streams many of Tencent's dramas, and it's a free service with a VIP option for advanced viewing. Its latest dramas are Unstoppable Youth, To Get Her, and You Are the Miracle. Another streaming service I use is the iQiyi app. Just to be clear, this is the iQiyi app on my Android device, not the iQiyi website on my computer. They're pretty good in terms of uploading new dramas with English subs. It's currently what I'm using to watch Sword Dynasty. Like WeTV, it's a free service to use with a VIP option for purchase. And lastly, there's Viki. Viki is similar to WeTV and the iQiyi app, except it also streams Korean, Thai, and a whole range of other types of dramas and movies with subs in many different languages. Now to answer your question, Maria. Since you've already found WeTV and the iQiyi app, and I'm assuming you're already using YouTube, then I'll say that you've already found the best streaming sites for Chinese dramas with English subs. If anybody knows any other streaming sites or apps that are better, please enlighten us in the comments section below. I'm sure everyone would love to hear it. Your other option, Maria, is to watch on unofficial streaming sites. Now, I don't really want to encourage that because, first of all, it's illegal. It's not illegal for you to watch, but it is illegal for them to upload without the license. And secondly, you might find all types of unwanted pop-ups and who knows what else. But if you're desperate to find that obscure, elusive drama and willing to take any chance to find it, then you can Google watch Chinese dramas online English subs or something like that. And if you dig deep enough, page two, maybe even page H3, I'm sure you'll find some unofficial streaming site with English subs. Personally, I find that if it's a trending drama or even a semi-trending drama, those aforementioned streaming sites and apps are just as good as any. And now a recap of the dramas with premiere dates. Our Shiny Days will premiere on December 16th, Ming Dynasty will premiere on December 17th, and Yanxi Palace Princess Adventures will premiere on December 31st. And that's it for today, guys. Do check out my Patreon page to find perks to becoming a patron. This show would not be possible without your support, whether it's through Patreon or simply by watching, liking, and subscribing. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers!